Gyarados is one of the most iconic shiny Pokemon ever, due to it likely being the first shiny most players encountered at the Lake of Rage in Gen 2. Well, as it turns out, in a particular VGC format, shiny Gyarados was almost necessary to ensure you weren't at a slight disadvantage. Notably, you didn't just need to have a shiny Gyarados, you needed a shiny Gyarados in a Cherish Ball. In 2017, a shiny Magikarp with the move Bounce was released for Pokemon Sun and Moon. While Bounce is a common move on Gyarados today, easily obtainable by TR, back then it was an event exclusive move. At that, it's the only physical flying move that Gyarados can learn. When combined with Fly and EMZ, it was useful for dealing with powerful grass types in the format like Tapu Bulu, which would otherwise wall Gyarados out. It should be noted that many Gyarados didn't opt for Fly and EMZ in their moveset. However, the opponent, upon not seeing a Cherish Ball Shiny Gyarados, could confirm this turn zero. Here's a match I had at my first MSS versus Colin Hire. Note that Colin opted for the event Gyarados, making me wonder if I could get hit by a Supersonic Sky Strike at any point. But, a few turns in, he actually reveals that his Gyarados was Waterium Z. His Gyarados not being Fly and EMZ is actually vital information needed to win the match. Rather than revealing it on lead, he could hold his cards close to his chest until he absolutely needed to reveal them. Next time we'll be discussing why some players chose to run regular Kyogre over the Primo version in 2016 and 2017. But if you enjoyed this video or learned anything new, be sure to leave a like and subscribe because I make daily Pokemon content, and also be sure to check out my Twitch channel to watch me battle live.